7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's the start. It looked good to us. The officials will let us know. On the inside, J. Michael Kelly actually running second. Nate Brown in the U-17 led him across the line, and he may be the leader into the first turn, but that red boat on the inside is a quick one. The driver, a great young gun, and I believe it's going to be J. Michael Kelly leading the field, doing a great job of getting through the first turn in the lane. There comes Nate Brown. Nate Brown is right beside him as they come off the turn, and we have a great boat race. It's J. Michael Kelly in lane one, Nate Brown in lane two, and look at him go side by side up the back stretch. What a beautiful sight. Look at the U7 accelerate now for J. Michael Kelly. Just a superior boat ride and a little bit of horsepower on Nate Brown. Into the turn now. Have to carve a good one. Keep it tight. And they both do. J. Michael right on the boy line. Picked up some time right there on Nate Brown who swung a little bit wide. And that's the difference as they come down to cross start finish at the end of lap one. J. Michael carving a beautiful turn right in lane one. Nate Brown skipped out just a little bit and that cost him some time on the racetrack into the first turn now for the second time as the U48 comes by. Brian Perkins running in third place, well behind the leaders. Our leader now with almost a rooster tail. Well, now it tightens up a little bit as the formula, as the uh, U7, Graham Trucking, comes on to the back stretch. Nate Brown is right there again. Look at the second rooster tail. You can just see it through the tail of the U7. But Nate Brown is continuing to drive hard and again, it's going to be down to this turn. Who will make the best turn right in front of you here on the Corniche? A little bit of a hop there for the U7. He'll scrape off a little speed, swing it just a little bit wider. Now he takes it over into lane one. Nate Brown right on his hip this time. And Nate Brown was right on the edge of the rooster tail of J. Michael Kelly as they came through the turn. It's less than a rooster tail lead for J. Michael Kelly. About four boat lengths down the front straightaway. J. Michael getting a great ride out of the U7 as he goes into the turns one and two for the second time. Halfway through the turn is our leader as the U48 comes by in third place. J. Michael Kelly has it pretty well under control, but Nate Brown refusing to give up the chase in the U17. Here comes Nate one more time. We can see the glow of the sun as it sets in the west off that rooster tail. It does not look like Nate Brown will catch J. Michael Kelly unless something goes wrong with the U7. JMK into the turn now. He's at the apex. He'll turn it left right here. Duck it into lane one. Head down the front chute was still Nate Brown in pursuit and only about a boat length back. Any kind of a bobble by J. Michael Kelly in the U7. And Nate Brown will take over the lead. He is right there. Ready to take it if anything goes wrong aboard the U7. A very close boat race still for first and second place. A back a ways, almost a half a lap, is our third place runner. And that's Brian Perkins in the U48. We have run three of our four laps. This is the final lap. It's Nate Brown's last chance to catch J. Michael. But it looks like JMK is able to maintain his lead, running beautifully and smoothly in lane one, flying it just a little bit right there. We saw all the way under the boat. Nate Brown back almost a rooster tail now as they go into the final turn. J. Michael Kelly may have his second podium victory here of the weekend as he turns it down to take the checkered flag, accelerates down to start finish, and it will be Nate Brown in second place. J. Michael Kelly, our winner of Heat 4A, the restart, checkered flag, goes to JMK, racing for Ted Porter's team out of Decatur, Indiana. J. Michael, a resident of the Seattle area.